Yo, what's up guys? How are you doing tonight? Mr. Avenger here, Mighty, aka Mighty Sun or MA at your surface. How are you? Well, I hope that you guys enjoyed my reactions. So now I got those out of the way. I, I thought maybe that this would be a good time that uh, I want to share my thoughts about Dragon Ball Super, superhero movie that just came out today. And for those who didn't get a chance, uh, did not get to see the premiere, uh, just don't watch this Don't watch this video because uh, it will be considered as a, a minor spoiler. And maybe that will get to uh, the, the nitty gritty, but I'll try to be minimum as humanly possible as I can. So, for those who are wondering that, uh, which version did I get to see, well, um, you know, it was kind of a hard to choose. And that, um, if I'm not mistaken, that the standard that goes in uh, that are the Japanese dub, but uh, the English, uh, which that uh, I choose, it was, so I went to the English. But it, it doesn't matter either way. I just wanted to see this movie and just have a blast. So, as I said from earlier, that it was fun. It was tons of humor puns in it. Uh, high octane, uh, adrenaline rush. But mostly, it is all nothing but action and just shocks and awe. It was fantastic. And mostly, I had a great time. So, after displays of uh, a lot of... Uh, Hints that's been showing, and that uh, I'm pretty sure that that, that that most of you hardcore fans out there uh, already shown a few little shots, and that um, maybe you have posted, but you didn't hear from me. So that's all I, I know, and I just wanted to see it for myself, but it was totally worth it. So hopefully that... that um, if you are a Dragon Ball fan, if there's still a little bit of time, because it's only just a once in a lifetime, then go ahead and have fun, go nuts with it. But I guarantee you, it is going to be a worth a talking about. So let's begin. All right. So the plot goes is that first off, I do like how they just give of a recap of the history of the Red Ribbon Army that was considered as the rise of the fall that happened back in the Dragon Ball era. And that also give a brief of Dr. Shiro trying to rise to the claim and, well, was deheaded by Android 17 and go skip forward to of the self of the future that came to the time present. And, well, of course, that the, the, the time paradox get, just gets a little complex but uh, here are some things that's never been mentioned until this film just came out. That uh, you have Magenta, who is the son of Commander Red, who's been running of the Red Ribbon Army and disguised as a farmer, pharmaceutical facility. But in reality, it, it's, it's a hidden gap of the Red Ribbon Army that is basically trying to reestablish and trying to, what else? World Conquest. But uh, he now knows about the existence of Dr. Shiro's grandson, who's also a scientist, a gifted, and a doctor, Dr. Hedo, and that um, he he got a, a nice degree through college, but um, I guess the, the nature that just comes into the of the rotten apple tree, and that um, it's kind of funny that uh, Dr. Hedo just um, bring bring the three corpse back from the dead with the cybernetic enhancements. That's clever and yet hysterically. But the, the thing is, is that um, Magenta may know about the existence of Hedo, but it was Hedo 
that already knew about Magenta and the Red Ribbon Army. If not, that, that he has that, that little robot spy, which is that is considered that is uh, annoying as heck because uh, cause they are really that small. We're talking about a size of an insect and they monitor, monitor and scan every all the details that needs to be known. And that uh, he and he just got out of, out of prison, and already <laughs> he's just. I think I believe it, that he just tossed a, a, a hand grenade, and as as a as a as a gifted scientist that he is, but he's just 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 not there, just just a little bit crazy, just crazy to say the least. But uh, the thing is that he that that he wants to wanted to help. Hedo to bring back to, of the Red Ribbon Army. That's what it's what it's meant to be as a rise to, to the acclaim and reestablish themselves and needed Hedo's geniuses and his prowess when it comes to cybernetic and robot and the robot army. And basically, it's all about wanting to, to get back at Goku and the others because of everything that happened that was back in Dragon Ball Z. That uh, the, the ending of Dr. Shiro and the, the ending of Cell. And even though the Magenta may not got the whole detail, and yet he considered them as the true villains in that uh, modifying some heroes to be as the, the, the pinnacle, something that, you know, that gives up a. Uh, a public eye for just just to, to see that the red, red ribbon army is not uh, not as as the the evil organization as they were that they claim they were that was years ago. So truth be told about that, but in reality is that Magenta is just using Hedo's technology and the, the, of his geniuses. What's really what's been cooking up of the, the of the latest design, and uh, fast forward and let's talk about Piccolo's um, new location. All I got to say is um, exclusively nice to say the least, and uh, great interior. So, yep, he has his own home, and I guess this is where the the equivalent. From DBC a bridge and movies that uh, how the the how the team is trying to push into that concept of Piccolo trying to find a new home. Yeah, I, I don't know if that was unintentionally or it was just um, it was by accident. But to say the least of it, it's pretty nice looking, and um, I don't know why. Piccolo would have so much of um, these plush dolls. It's just weird, and I think he's kind of got a little bored with that. <laughs> but anyways, so so basically, so Piccolo was is is doing a little training session with Pan, and this is the first time we get to see her because in. For for this film, she's three years old, so she is quite of a fast learner, but haven't learned how to learn of uh, the the art of flying yet. But somehow she has a one heck of a speed, and she literally runs so fast. And you know what? Just looking at her and just with that kind of a uh, ridiculous speed. I think I know one person that is um that matches like um Ariel back in the uh, the Penguin Village from Dragon Ball. Yeah, the the insane little cyborg that she can literally split the earth in half with just literally so. Yeah. Hell of a surprise. Poor Piccolo. I mean, I I get that that the man needs his training and that's all he needs. And okay, here is the funny part about uh, in yes. Yeah, so he has his own cell phone. He just picks it up and just with his own two fingers and just goes click and doing the FaceTime. And I get it. Sometimes Pan's parents are busy. 
But Gohan, really, I, I, I get it. He, he's, he's busy, and uh, uh, I think he's a biologist. I think if, if I'm not mistaken correctly, but come on, man, don't you want to pick up your your own daughter? I mean, busy is one thing, but the lack of uh, responsibility to your own child. Why does that sound like Goku all of a sudden? And next thing you know, an uninvited guest that shows up and he uh, he goes by the name of Gamma number two. And I, I you know, I like this kind of uh, of this cocky attitude and that uh, it, it is just a that that uh, he is a, a modified cyborg or an android, but basically given a direct orders and. Given the equivalent that uh, given of uh, run back and having a, a good beating on Piccolo, but his first mistake was he should have checked to see if he was dead. So, and that was his first mistake. So he fought. So Piccolo followed Gamma all the way to the base, and it was well hidden. And we're talking about like Wakanda style. And disguised as one of the of the of the Red Ribbon Ar Army soldier, and just just basically just ease on and confirming all the what's going on. And the plot is the two having Gamma number one and two to to, to basically to lure Goku, Vegeta, Majibu, and Gohan to have the fight right to their 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 own location, and that. Um, Mostly, if all else fails, they rely on one prototype, which is Cell Max. Okay, so to be honest, just hearing the name Cell Max, and I guess is may maybe that is that that's a, a loosely based off um Super Dragon Ball Hero games. And maybe that was a little different, but um, judging from that, basically that what that was inside of that giant capsule that was on the trailer that I reacted to. And, um, yeah, I think that that's a, that's a, that's a huge vessel if you ask me. So now the back, the, the back to the, of the matters is that Magenta planning to wanted to, to bait out Gohan by kidnapping Pan and Piccolo, just basically just trying to as basically to volunteer to make sure that nothing happens to her and being as um a legal guardian slash nanny and that's basically that's what he was doing just making sure nothing happens and that um pen is pretty much capable of hand, handling herself and um I wonder isn't that the same Teacher with with that uh, the, the with the afro hair, it's the same woman that was driving slowly during of the the beginning of the movie. I think so, but it's very surprising that uh, Pan, uh, her her training in 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 her senses is is really really that sharp, and and she instantly recognized Piccolo underneath that disguise, and that. Um, Speaking of which, and, and uh, given the fact that, that this is the kind of the situation that Piccolo was trying to do, so he was trying to try to get Goku and Vegeta, but apparently they're uh, unavailable because they were at Beerus's planet, which is that that Goku was trying to to teach Broly how to control his anger, and of course that he still got some learning to do. But it is nice to see him, and uh, I, I like the, how the um, the expression and the reaction for Beerus when he found out that that uh, Broly was in in his world. Because given the fact that after what happened on the Broly movie, that uh, the absolute beating that was uh, on Frieza, ouch. And Vegeta was just meditating, and the, the, he's just basically just trying to, trying to try to understand how Jiren, how he was be able be in that much control through meditation and be that strong. And 
that's where we decided to wanted to teach Broly how to handle without relying on transformation. So this was became as a, a big sparring, for, be, excuse me, between Goku and Vegeta. So it's yeah, it was definitely it was gonna be a long one, and here is what I laugh about that is Chili was stealing all the. I'm assuming that there, there's a lot of golds and treasures. And for some reason, Beerus got a little spark. And in his last words is that, I like her. And I was like, wait a minute. Is is he being turned on? Or is he just, just like this kind of a spunky attitude coming from her? I, I don't get it. Because someone just... Run me back exactly what's the deal with that? Because mm. if you ask me, I think that, that he maybe that, that is, he's in love. I don't know. Hours later, that one big soldier and Piccolo went to Gohan's house and... <laughs> I mean, Piccolo is just given too much information and in that... Uh, I guess that, that he knows Gohan too well because he's just too busy being on books and just give a slight tap on the window. And that's where that um he should that that big soldier should not show the footage of Pan being captured, handcuffed, because I can tell just from the look, from looking down and the crackling of the window, and he went nuke. He is pissed off, and just creating that the half of the of the crater just gave it a little sinkhole to the to the edge of the house. And uh, he was this close. The soldier was this close of wanting to shit himself so bad. So Gohan did not waste any time and just went. Go ballistic and demands to, to re give back his daughter. And number two d wanted to step in. And yeah, the confusion can be a little compl complicated. And being as Gohan, being as a, as a bad guy. And yet that Gamma doesn't seem to understand that, y that he's being given orders to the wrong person. And being as a program to be as a superhero and, and, I, and again I like this kind of attitude and the cockiness because it's all nothing but of uh full of energy and just having that that the bright attitude and not to mention strike a pose I can't do that I'm, I'm I, I I've lost I've lost a little bit fraction of memories of it but this this fight was a pretty escalated and it was quite to say that it was a, a little even, but Piccolo, I swear, it's like he is just trying to to get, to get Gohan to be pushed up and to regain that strength that he had when he was back in the in the, uh, in the um univ it was like the uh, the universe the p tournament of power excuse me excuse my brain and it worked. I mean, now it's now it's consent that, that that was Piccolo that was grabbing a pan to the throat of it when that was just an act just to see the reaction of Gohan and it worked and just take the glasses and game face on and showing no freaking mercy. And and another thing that I also forgot to mention that um the situation that for Piccolo, that um, the realization that, that that Gamma, not only just number two, but number one, that, that they're both are that strong, and he needs to find a way to even the odds. So he actually decided to, wanted to, to ask Shenron to awaken his belatent ability the same way that, that the Elder Guru did the same for Krillin and Gohan, and that would explain of the why the, the Piccolo's skin tone was a little bit lighter, and I I thought it was just basically that that's the 
that's the concept of a uh, manga art. But no, that's basically that that it's just the skin tone was given of a, a, a light touch, and it, and when he when he fell to the the bottom of the what's of the rubble of the what's left of, of the uh, underneath underneath the, of the of the base, and I guess that that the the, the memories coming from Shinron, and that uh, that. Not only that, that it will awaken his uh, belating ability, but it give of a, an extra boost. So basically, in that that's where the, uh, the 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 halo symbol and the tree come in, and that also awaken of a new ability. And that's where the um, that I've been hearing of the word orange piccolo. Honestly, all I think about is orange chicken. Excuse me for bringing that up, but hey, I love chicken. <laughs> so back into it, and he got he got a little taller, and he's more of um a little bit, a little bit of Lord Slug, or as a Super Namekian, but um, yeah, things got um, things. Things got got alternative, uh, alternative in that um, the fact that that Gemma, get me Gamma one and two are being basically being used by Magenta, and as a sign of desperation, that uh, he decided to want to release Cell Max and and I, I believe that the fact that that this was could basically that that looks like that's a prototype and gathering all the remains. Of what's left of what a uh, perfect cell was, and I guess that that was picked up of uh, remaining pieces that happened that was years back at the end of the cell games, and it it, it looks like that the Hedo had a sudden change of heart and that wanted to stop him, and it was pretty low from Machenta that that actually shot him, but I forgot that that he developed of uh, a um. Skin, I think, you know, it was a um, skin enhancement that he just drank, that uh, that, that he is immune to bullets, and that um, and th that's where that that little that that little drone that just poisoned the so-called leader of Red Ribbon Army, and I could see that that the skin color is starting to get a little darker and green, and. Hit the red button and Cell was awakened. So look at that, all that's all these colors. And I was like, why? Why mix with red and green? I don't quite get it. But then again, this is basically that is um the kaiju size of Cell, but with the tail that's um weird. But I do like the fact that that, um, that shooting just multiple lasers and just just basically just just shoot randomly that's just hitting everywhere that all that goes and it, I guess it's that basically this, this is something that's a little uh, concept behind uh, Shin Godzilla. I think that's probably where that where that came from. I, that's that's probably a, a logic how that where that came from. But it is pretty cool, and that uh, it's nice to see that that Boma bring Krillin eighteen Trunks and Goten, and funny about that. At first, that, that we get to see, you know, the the return of Gotenks. Goten forgot how to do the fusion dance, and that kind of got me a little bit worried. And yet they performed a dance, but here's where the mistake was. It should have been this, but instead, this what happened, and we got ourselves the fat go tanks. And you know how back in Dragon Ball Z that uh, when he used the the technique, the the boo boo volleyball, and having Piccolo to spike the ball. Well, it's just a little reminder of that, and 
with the big size of that dome of his, it actually cracked the skull because they inform that the the weak the weak point is the skull, and this is basically this is in case if this is this is coming from the the head of in case if that that cell is being used for for the, for the wrong hands, the fail safe is the skull, but the the downside about this, uh, he will explode by a, by a simple chain reaction if the skull gets cracked and it gave a little dent to it but still cell was just just keeps on coming and you know i'm starting to understand why that the gohan has to need the glasses because he missed catching just one sense of being and this was this was a this was die this 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 was this was a ride or die situation, and that uh, number two knows the situation that that is is critical, and what he's planning to do that he was gonna do, that he's gonna draw out, and that he was gonna try to put an end to it. Now, yeah, this is actually I, yeah I got a little further I got sidetracked there, but um, I got handed to number two that. He was going to try everything that he can to go all out with it to try to try to hit the weak point. But um, not only that, it was a full charge, but it was also a self sacrifice. And I have to give a command to him that that the up pulling the effort, and it was it was a beautiful epic to, just to see that and. Even though that 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 slice off his that slice off his hand, but it was not enough, and I was just I just lost it. It was just he he was out, and now we get to the part that that it cracked the skull, but um, nice 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 touch there for for Quillen that that uh, suggests Piccolo that he has to go big, and it does give another. A memory that's back in Dragon Ball when when he was known as King Piccolo that he just went growth and, and go go big, and it's nice that that's another of a Dragon Ball references, and but there's a downside about this being big or extend of a larger size doesn't make you stronger. It just leaves you wide open, and that's basically that's where the, that the consensus that the, that. He's going to distract Cell for Gohan to charge up, and it was a really a nasty situation. And just to see Gohan watching Piccolo getting the brutal beatdown from Cell, and it was getting he was getting very concerned about that because this is the kind of fight that he's not going to make it, and. I, I love the how that that the music and the the, the symphony that that just that that started that that climbing and escalating so much, and it's just it just makes me want to cry for Piccolo because it's it, it, it's nice that he got a, an extra boost and yet it's not enough to take down Cell, and just looking at this that this is, could be the end and. Just see that moment that uh, Gohan's eyes was started to fade out, and the big happening that just that that just happened, and the explosion of a of a of a massive aura just excels, and that's where the of a a brand new form is now being shown. Uh, silver hair, red eyes. Just a very demonic look, and now this is where the, that the another name that has been given, known as Beast Gohan, and definitely it looks like a beast, all right. Cause holy hell, how insane that is! It's just I I, I never seen something like this before, and that is the the wildest thing that that is never shown, in, and 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 basically. According to Mr. Toriyama, this is basically this is something that he came up with from um, Orange Piccolo and Beast Gohan is basically trying to try to to reach that level which that Goku and Vegeta are 
as, as well as Broly. So that would explain why the, the the new names that's been given. So I get that, and I and, and I'm I'm gonna be respect of his wishes and his choices. And so just wanted to give a a, a good just right just give it a good deck right into Gohan and that didn't phase him. And the response is that is that all you got? And just. I mean, seriously, just looking at Gohan and in that new form, it's just unbelievable. And it's just, it's just savagery just to see this. And and I gotta say for, 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 for Cell, for just putting an effort to it, it just, it's just how monstrosity that he is. And even though that is technically, that is just a prototype of the original perfect Cell from the future. And yet... It's just give it of the full blast, and I know that there are some fans that are still not getting custom when it comes to of uh, the CG animations when it comes to fights. But to me, I don't see there's no harm in that. I mean, when it comes to fight, it gotta be look very cool and epic when it comes to of uh, the slow motions. So it, to me, it is just what it is. So I I got no gripe about that, but. And see, and watching Gohan charge up and doing the Makako Sampo, aka Special Bean Cannon, and Piccolo is it's trying to try to put a hold on him, and it's it's cool that you get to see how the, the wings started to started flapping and started to get spratted out like that and regenerate his arm and growing back and making sure that he's not going anywhere. And this was a a hell of a beam struggle just to see that and how insane that is. And yet, just the magnitude and the power that coming from Gohan and that signature move was not enough to take that out uh, that full blast and just give a good just good aim to the skull and just out. And just seeing how the, the the full blast that just shoot out out of the Earth's orbit, another Dragon Ball Z references the same way when he was younger did that he he finally defeated Cell of the full blast Kamehameha, and it was just beautiful to say the least. That's over. Well, not quite because um. The, destroying the 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 weak point, which that's the that's got to be the the cells cell max's core, that uh, reacted of the that basically hit the, the chain reaction and that he explode, and yeah everyone is saved, but but on but not not so much to Gemma number two, and for for awesome android. And being as a superhero, he definitely gave it all to correct of his ways and being used. But he got he was faded, and that was just a uh, very tragic just to see that. And that basically did that, that just come to see that that Hiddle's way. And that uh, he prefers that wanted to use his technology for doing things for good, and this is basically a, a sudden change of heart. And now, basically, that uh, he wants to work with Cap Capsule Corp because Bulma is interesting to want to know more about the skin. Uh, oh, cr oh crap! So here I go again. Now I can't remember the skin modifications. There we go, because. This is something that is interesting in how that, that it's basically how you could be immune to bullets or yeah, to bullets or uh, knife wounds. So that's one of the reasons that uh, she's more interested in what to, to have a little to tinker with. And also, Bulma just used two wishes for a little hints to her booty and... Uh, more cosmetic look. Selfish, selfish, selfish. So, at the end of the movie, 
all you get to see is Go Goku and Vegeta just, they are completely maxed out. And through the entire time that Beerus, Whis, Broly, Chili, and I forgot the dude's name. They were just been eating ice cream nonstop and just watching this because he did make it clear that this this little spar is gonna take forever, and they were right. And Vegeta just gives one hit, even though he is exhausted, and give it a good deck to Goku, and he just took it to the flow, and Vegeta won. It was a victory that at long last for him, and they got t and he and he was tired, so it was jarring that uh, that just and well, that's what according to Chile, but for Broly, he was in tears of of joy of witnessing such of a of a luring battle. I get it. I mean, this is something that he never seen, and yet this is something that this is considered as a lesson. I get it. But finally, Whis just picks up his staff and realizing that that the uh, Bulma's been calling him for quite a for quite a while, but it, it's done, and that uh, no rewards, no food. So, ain't that a pip? So that was the plot. And that's basically just just give it the details and explore through not just the characters but uh, the transformations that um, being considered that as a, of a few memes. And I got I will say to this that it is pretty decent. So it still kind of still ha it still kind of brings the question is does this still ties to before the ending of Dragon Ball C? Likely, but it's still just it, it's still there's nowhere any anywhere in that gap of it. But um, hopefully that we will get to of uh, the season two because there's it's still in the production, and I know the fact that that there will be making a return that's going to be for next year. Uh, that's all I know, but uh, it is still pretty awesome that we get to see the fact that that. That the movie just simply just focusing on uh, Piccolo and Gohan, and that uh, that I guess it's just kind of a sense of that just taking a little break from Goku or Vegeta just for this once. But uh, it is silly that um, how Trunks and Goten screwed up of the fusion dance and reducing of the fat form. And and it's and it is nice that that uh, that you get to see Pan actually starting to learn to fly, and it's very cute and very cheerful just to see that, and uh, and and just the for a moment that uh, that they actually tried to perform the fusion, and we didn't get to we didn't get to see if the, if they actually got it right, so I was a little bum about that, but. I guess it's just, it is just what it is, but um, to me, it's just a fantastic movie. I mean, it's a, it's a good concept, uh, uh, having of a, a super superhero theme in the mix of it, of a concept, especially uh, just the coolness of Gamma 1 and 2, especially 2 is the most likable and the most favorable of the, uh, of the entire movie. And bring it back to Cell, but uh, in a kaiju style like, but it is pretty neat. And overall, I think it's still just in enjoyable just to watch. So I don't, I don't know how long it will be uh, till we get of of the release of the the DVD and Blu-ray that's going to be coming out. So I definitely gonna will be on the lookout and definitely gonna own it. So. That is my review and my thoughts about Dragon Ball Super Superhero. So definitely it was worth it. So I hope that you get a, get a chance to enjoy of what I'm thinking of, what my thoughts are. So hopefully it's not a not a completely long, but I'm just give you just what I what I've seen so far. And I still love it.
And that's one of the reasons that I'm still and always will be a Dragon Ball fan. And that's all you need to know. So I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up and just call it a night. But uh, rest assure you, there will be some more reactions on the way, especially that uh, a little birdie told me that there is supposed to be a brand new video from not only Five Finger Death Punch, but also Blackpink too. And I also believe that, that there should be a uh, part two of Black Thunder by The Who. So if it does, I'm definitely looking forward to it. But until then, I hope you have a wonderful night. And if you enjoyed that, leave a likes and also leave a comments down below. And I will catch y'all in the next video. So take care, guys, and be safe.